Hey everyone, check it out. We have one pretty dangerous situation here involving the beavers. See this area that's completely flooding? You can tell right here during storms it's definitely making its way across the road. There's two giant culverts here. See the one right here? Completely plugged up by the beavers. And there's another one right here completely plugged up by the beavers. They may not look like giant pipes, but they are. And there's a huge issue here. You see how the ground is all sinking around it? They have clogged up failing culverts. And it's beginning to cause miniature sinkholes. Especially right here. Let me show you why. The sinkholes are more towards both ends because that's where they get the freeze and thaw cycles. But you see right here, these culverts, definitely big enough to walk in. Reason number one being, the bottom's rotted out. If we let a surge of water that big go through these, it'll cause severe damage to the roadway. You see that, how the bottom's rotted out all the way through? And the dam is also in the middle. The bottom of the culvert is too weak to walk on, being reason number two. Now we're gonna go look in the other side. The other one looks like it's the same age, so I bet it'll have the same issues. Culvert number two, gotta step in here. Probably have the same issues because it looks like it was the same age when it was put in. Not as rotted out, but getting there. See the giant dam created by the beavers? Huge dam. Now this one doesn't look as bad. Might want to investigate this one actually. Alrighty, so a little bit further down the road you can see the same bog is flooding into the road causing roadway damage right here. With these, with these beavers clogging these culverts, eventually they're going to cause the road to wash out here or down there. You can see two places where it definitely crosses as a result to these culverts being clogged. Now the first one I showed you definitely can't be unclogged because it'll cause the roadway to wash out. The next one has no noticeable damage. You can see all the holes and stuff here. This one doesn't have any holes around it. We're gonna get in there and try to unclog it a bit. Beavers are gonna be angry. Not sure where their lodge is, but we're gonna at least chip away at this one a little bit. We'll see how it goes. And downstream does not look like the beavers have a setup down here that's not a beaver dam alrighty we're all geared up big tall boots and some lights headlamp entering a confined space have a second person here and see what we got if this is doable or not Oh, that is nasty. Really nasty. Beaver poop. Okay, we're back the next day. I decide I am gonna give this a good old go. Get lights on, see how it works out.
Someone shooting up there. Yeah, go get your orange stuff on. Be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alrighty, everyone. Time to get the rake out to get more going. All right. That was a park ranger or a trapper. I'm not sure exactly. The guy that they hired to trap the beavers is here to shoot them, and that's what he's doing right now. But he's on the other side of the pond, so it's not going to affect us. It's okay if we can continue. They said it's okay if we can continue doing this. I just got to get my light back on. This time I'm going with the rake. Because if you're up there with your bare hands, you have no idea if there's a beaver on the other side of that dam ready to bite. So I can do this from a few feet distance. And the rake can also be used as a weapon if needed. Let's get back in there. Everyone, we're gonna let this calm down. In like 20 minutes, we'll go back in and do some more. You saw yesterday, we cannot unclog the other culvert, even if we wanted to. Usually, I wouldn't do that, I would leave it to the perk service. I'm just doing this to drop it back. The other culvert is in such bad shape, it'll wash out the road if you open it. Better that that one's locked. But here we go, water's dropping back. We'll come back in here in about 20 minutes. Do my rake right here and uh, take my gloves off and we'll see what it's doing up top. Also gotta take my headlamp off, save the battery, going back in there like 20 minutes. See you there. Alright, we're out. I'm actually covered in a ton of mud. It's already dropped back a few inches. You can see the water line. It was out here covering more than half the street. And you can tell during rainstorms this is where it definitely crosses. So from what I've already done. It will get it off the road. It will get it off the road. When it calms down in like 20 minutes, I'm gonna go back out there and rake away some more. And the beavers, if the fishing game is successful here hunting them, won't be coming back to this location. Because you gotta understand, beavers are beneficial to the environment, but this will cause a major environmental impact if all the soil from the road is pushed out. It's not meant to be a dam and it's not meant to top. If the beavers made a dam with just a couple feet of water here, it'd be fine. But they keep adding and they just take a whole thing out. So, alrighty, we'll be back in like 20 minutes to start up again. This is what it looks like from the other side where the waterfall is. About to go back in. Alrighty, we're going back in. Just in case an angry beaver shows up, I have someone watching my back. Hopefully I can hear them with all this waterfall in here.
another big blast. Actually smells like a skunk in there. The rotten material. All right, we're discharging a lot right now from the pond. Cool. Water's pretty strong. That is so much fun. All right. We can sit around for a little while longer until this drops back. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. And you can see the puddle has almost completely receded off the roadway. We're gonna go in one final time and knock it down a little bit more. And then the road crew is gonna get the rest of it once the beavers are completely gone. Some guy just drove by really slow in his pickup truck, looking forward the whole time, never even looking at us. He yelled out, you guys ain't gonna find shit. Well, there are beavers here and they're hunting them. And he doesn't know I'm not here for hunting the beavers. I'm here hunting the clog. That damn deterioration falls out. That's what I'm hoping for. The water was going so fast. Anytime I put my hand in the water, it would just spray up in my face. It was hitting so fast. Hoping that whole dam washes out. You hear rocks and stuff tumbling, right? Ripping itself apart. Waiting for the whole dam to just wash out. It might. Hear all those rocks? It's falling apart. I'm waiting for the whole dam to just wash out. And we'll drop the pond back four feet. Come on, come on. Come on, Clog. Come down here. Wow, it is getting deteriorating. Cause right now, I'm standing in the water with my big tall boots. And I can feel it rising. It's rising. You hear all the tumbling rocks. And I can also feel them hitting my boots. That's good, it's deteriorating. That means it's, the dam is dropping more and more. 
When I first started this project, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it. There was so much stuff in there. You saw how at the beginning I was moving it out by hand. Turns out I didn't even have to. It would have dragged it out if I just left it alone. But I didn't want all the stuff in my way because I got to have a fast way to escape if something was to go wrong. And just like I always learned from my OSHA training, this in particular kind of clog, you always make sure there's someone there with you. I got someone here with me, and there's hunters around. There's a bunch of people that could come to help me that are right here on top of this pipe. Okay, that's good. I can still hear rocks. It's still tumbling. I'm going to leave the camera running just in case it washes out while I'm across the street going to check out the progress. everyone we're going back in down a little more now. Listen to all those rocks tumble. Fantastic. Alrighty everybody, we're back about 20 minutes later. It dropped back slightly. The pond has now dropped back about a foot. Now we're going to go in and try to remove the rest of the dam. As soon as it starts moving, I will jump over it and let it pass. If the water's strong enough to knock me over, so be it. There's very little damage in here and almost all my body's covered with protective gear.
my water power feels so good. We got rid of the dam completely. The pressure of that thing wanting to drag me is so awesome. My shoes are completely full of water, but that's okay. It's pretty nice out for this time of year. About 35 degrees Fahrenheit, not that bad. When you're active, you generate a lot of heat. Not even that cold. Love it, we got rid of the whole dam. And it, it worked perfectly. I just stepped over it as it slid by. I knew the water pressure wouldn't be that much. So awesome fighting this current. Now I gotta get up top, empty out my boots, and see on the other side. This is why we don't wear waders that go all the way up to my chest, because I just would not be able to get up with that. It's just too much. Let's get out of here. It's even harder to get up out of the water because they're full of water. And you're in the water, you can't see them. I can still hear rocks tumbling through that culvert. That's a lot of water. Dropping pretty fast. Already dropped about 18 inches the water level. Because you remember, it was crossing right here during big storms, and that would eventually lead to a washout in the spring. That's why the logging company has to get rid of the beavers before the spring thaw. Any rocks that you can hear tumbling now are not related to the dam. It's sucking in things near the entrance. The torrent of water is so strong. And then we have a time-lapse camera going too, I'll show later in the video. Alrighty, so the reason this culvert right here couldn't be open is because it was all rotted out. And the reason it's rotted out, this one is slightly lower than this one. So this is the primary flow culvert. This would usually have a good trickle in it. And during spring thaw or storms only, this one would run. This one's not meant to run constantly. They do that on purpose because they know this one's going to rot out. But that just proves they're not keeping an eye on it. This one, if this was to be unclogged probably wash away the roadway the rot is so bad in there as you saw yesterday now take a look at this culvert this is what you can hear the rocks tumbling the torrent it's making in the entrance see the bottom of the riverbed little rocks are tumbling things are getting thrown into it the little bit of dirty water you see here is coming in from the puddle on the street which is completely drained right now check on the inside all clear but we're gonna drop back quite a bit. Actually, this culvert does have a little bit of rot at the entrance, but that is not from decay. You see all this right here? See how the end's a little bit crinkled? But from right here, about three feet in on, it's fine. That was an idiot with an excavator that destroyed the base right there. And that's also the guy who crumpled right here and dented this right here. See the guy rip the bottom of it. That's not rusted out, it's ripped from an excavator. Here's our current conditions on the other side. You can still hear rocks tumbling out the end. This is the rusted out one right here that we were not gonna open up because it could cause a lot of damage. And you only need to open one for drawback purposes until a crew can get out here. Honestly, in my opinion, both pipes should be replaced at the same time. And you see right here, all the idiot with excavator marks hitting it. That's not a big deal. The bad thing is when they crumple it to the extent where you can't get the capacity through. You know when they crumple the end of it all shut? That's just a disgrace. And on that other one right there, how they grab the whole bottom of it. Did the guy not know the diameter before he started? It's so weird. You always go to the other end to check it first so you know what you're dealing with. And look at all the debris up there. These things blast in the spring thaw so much it puts stuff up there. And this stuff right here will just get caught up on its way down. It's not going to cause any damage downstream. Or I should say it's not going to cause a clog downstream because this leads to a little pond first where everything can sink that's waterlogged. But I highly doubt it'll ever make it there. It'll rot where it sits. 
Check out the drawback so far. That big log in the center of the screen, you see how the bottom half of it's dark because it's wet, it's even dripping. We drop back now close to three feet. All right, everyone, you just saw that awesome time-lapse video of us dropping this pond back just over three feet. Now, right here, you can tell during storms, it crosses, flooding over the road as a result of the beavers. That's why it's all damp there. I probably did it the last rainstorm last week. Now, look over here. It's now a good three feet below the road's edge, and it's still going to continue to drop. You can see back there that log, the bottom half is wet, the big log on the top. And we're coming back here. We're not drawn back completely yet because this thing has a whole bunch of waterlogged land that's slowly going to seep water for a while. The dirty stuff here is coming off the roadway from the flooded road. Now you look down here, you can still hear a few more rocks tumbling. That's how the galvanization gets worn down and how they rust out in the first place. This damage here was an idiot with an excavator. That's not rot damage like the other. The one That one right there is the primary use culvert. That's why that one's rotted out. This one's not. You saw the other end. Not from the freeze and thaw cycles. The other end does not have any damage on it. That's from the idiot with the excavator peeling it, which contributed to the rot. This was only going to be a little bit rotten. Like you see the little holes right there on the edge? That's not from the excavator. The excavator made it worse. I'd say this pipe needs to be replaced in the next few years. It's not any immediate danger, but it needs to be replaced eventually. Now you see we're flowing probably at about six inches. Before when I was in there, we were probably flowing at about two and a half feet of raging water. You saw when I was backing through it. Kind of hard to walk in there, but that was awesome. This is a four foot diameter culvert. We had about a two and a half foot surge filling half it. It was not even that strong. It looked like a ton of water. It was so much fun. It did not even attempt to push me over at all. Just every time I release debris that caught against my legs, I immediately step over it so it can't knock me down. That worked out so perfectly. Anyways, you saw when we started, it was only flowing at about a half an inch. Once the water log land is all drained, it'll go back to that. And if we look down here, we're going to walk down to the flooded street. Look at the drainage ditch. This wasn't meant to be a pond. This is a drainage ditch down there. See it all flowing towards the culvert? Once the drainage ditch is done being waterlogged, it'll go back to normal. Just take a look at the water line on this tree. See this? It was this far up the water. Good three feet of loss. See it all back there? How high it up it was? Now, right here at the flooded street, when we came by here yesterday, it was flooding out more than half of the road. I imagine this is another place it crosses like where I showed down there. Today when we showed up, it was flooding to about here. It quickly drained back. Just scooted that right there with my foot. This drained back. Once the water table and the flooded road dries up, this will sink back into the ground probably in the next few hours. But you look in here. Look at it now. It's got a trickling stream going down to that culvert. But before, the water was here. See? This was underwater, part of the road was underwater, and it's drawed back. If the beavers are still here, which will get us chew marks really fresh, they're going to start construction again tonight if the hunters were unsuccessful. They said they were unable to get anything despite shooting at one. Not an enemy of the beavers, but it happens. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Take a look at these awesome bear tracks.